welcome everyone who came here tonight. We are so fortunate to have Mr. John M. LaForge, who is part of Nuke Watch, and I encourage all of you to join Nuke Watch. Yes. Uh, John, can you say something about the international situation uh, with the, the ban on nuclear weapons? Yes, there is a terrific uh, international campaign to abolish nuclear weapons. You might have heard of ICAN, I-C-A-N dot O-R-G. It's a relatively new campaign to uh, establish a treaty that, like the treaty ban on landmines or biological weapons, chemical weapons, it would ban the production manufacture, possession, and use of nuclear weapons. And the campaign is having some great success at the United Nations, uh, most recently having won an agreement among the, uh, the first committee at the UN to bring to the General Assembly a motion t to have negotiations brought underway for negotiations in good faith to abolish nuclear weapons or what the Non-Proliferation Treaty obliges the U.S. to accomplish. Uh, we're a signatory principal signer to that treaty, along with a lot of the other nuclear weapon states and, of course, 150 states that don't have nuclear weapons. The uh, U.S. and the other nuclear powers are dragging their feet on this negotiation and trying to prevent it from going ahead. They think that their own uh, diplomatic efforts are good enough, but I can, and the rest of the world uh, realize that you know, 60 years since the non-proliferation treaty was signed without any progress indicates that there's no good faith uh, on the part of the nuclear powers to proceed with these negotiations. So they're pushing this on their own. And uh, so I encourage you to check out the website, ICANN.org. Their information is really excellent. They have fine uh, video and uh, still information about the uh, campaign and how we can be part of it. I wonder whether uh, that was very publicized when I was in Iraq after shock and awe. It was horrendous, the nuclear, uh, the, the, the depleted uranium mm -hmm. and the effect it had on the children. Mm -hmm. They were malformed, crippled. It, mm -hmm. it was not publicized here, but I went to the hospitals and I could not believe my eyes. Mm -hmm. And I think if we would eliminate nuclear weapons or maybe all weapons, we would have free education, we would have free health care <laughs> in this country, and we might even get educated. It's a very good point on depleted uranium. If you're not familiar with the phrase depleted uranium, the U.S. has about 700,000 tons of uranium-238 left over as waste from the manufacture of fuel for reactors and the cores for nuclear weapons. This waste is extremely hard, and it's been found to penetrate armor, armor plate, better than anything else, better than tungsten, which was the previous uh, best metal for this. So the material is given away free to arms manufacturers who have been turning it into shells, anti-tank weapons, and then smaller 30-millimeter uh, shells. And as the questioner said, uh, the U.S. used massive amounts of it in the 2001 war on Iraq. 360 metric tons were fired into southern Iraq. Another 170 tons in 2003. It was used in Panama City for the first time in 1998 when Bush Sr. bombed Panama City. But then in Kosovo, Afghanistan, the U.S. has been experimenting with this radioactive toxic weapon for decades now. And we have seen an enormous increase in childhood birth or abnormalities in southern Iraq because when this material smashes through tank armor or armor plate, it turns to powder and dust, and then it can be spread on the wind hundreds of miles. But it contaminates the soil, the water, vegetation basically forever. It's very difficult to clean up. Again, there's an international campaign to see this weapon banned by treaty, it's the International Campaign to Ban Uranium Weapons, ICBUW. They have a terrific website, and their campaign is also having some success at the UN to see uh, not just this weapon banned, like landmines, but to make sure that uh, countries like the U.S. that have used it are held responsible for cleaning up the effects after a conflict is over, including dealing with the uh, terrible health effects in southern Iraq and elsewhere. Well, I think we'll wrap this up, but we really want to thank John. Maybe you'll hang around for a little bit.
Yeah, the Nuke Watch uh, website is nukewatchinfo.org. We have a Facebook page as well. Thank you very much. <laughs>